Got an egg there. She's onto her second egg. That is a huge egg. I'm hoping that's fertile. And all of them are. And once she's done laying, we'll obviously give her a nice warm bath and give her a lot to eat because she'll be starving. It's a beautiful egg. Oh, one's coming out. Look on the side. Pushed one out, that's two. Alright, let's see how she goes. Alrighty, guys, we dug all the eggs out. There's 18 in total, and they are all fertile. What we did was we took the same candle with my phone. You probably just see in this last one here that little red ring. I think these might have been laid a bit early. You can see it in that one, and a bit in that one. And that's what you call the red ring of life. That's what I've been told. You can see some of them. And yeah, what you do also is you keep the embryo upwards. As you can see, she did dig pretty big. She's in here at the moment. Now I've got to dig some spaces for him and put him into that incubator because I just came back from work. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> you got striker up there. Now, after getting these eggs nice and done. Our main priority next is Charlie to make sure she can get back up to weight because she has lost a lot of weight. Yeah. There we are. Alrighty, they're nice and positioned. We've got the incubator. That's currently set on, should be 28 minutes, eight. That should be the setting. Yep. So let's take this baby up. And I'm relying on this one to keep its eggs nice and moist for me. Nice and so they can grow. Okay, so now I've got to fill up the incubator with water because it's a little water tray thing you've got to fill up and so I'll talk to you guys later. Right, it's got in between it now because I put in there but the eggs are all the way like the front here. Now I'm going to just fix up these animals, clean up here, put this back out and let's check the weight of this girl because she lost, she took a beating when she laid these eggs. These are huge eggs. That's when she laid the inverter one, she didn't lose anything. But this time she's lost a lot of weight. Let's see how much she weighs now. Because that's, yeah, she, you can see her tailbone pretty clearly. She took a beating. She I was told that she was laying for about 40 minutes. It's quite a big laying period. Let's just put it to the side here for a sec. This one. Right, let's see how much she weighs now. You see what I mean? She, she lost 90 percent. She lost about 84 grams in those eggs. She's lost a lot. I have to get her back up to 400 where she was, or 350, because she was about 360 when she laid. She's got a black spot. <laughs> She was about 350 when she laid. 350, 360 around there, so to be exact, 357. And she's lost a bit, a lot of weight, like 150 grams is a lot. She's just gone down, down. And she's lost a lot, so we're gonna get her back. When I get back from my camping trip, she'll be going into pinkies, like big little mouse. I might see her tomorrow before I go, she'll try and eat a, no, she won't eat that kind of mouse, that'll be too big. But right now I'm going to prepare her, my specialty, my calcium salad, I'll be doing that first, and yeah, turn that off, the whole lizard's still outside, I'm going to do his water dish too, yeah, that's it, some new additions if they survive hopefully, I'm really hoping they do hatch, they all are fertile at the moment, she laid a whole clutch of fertile, so obviously Bongi did get to her in time, so that's good, jeez. She laid them today, it's like the 8th of December, I think. Oh, I'll check. So yeah, 8th of December, she laid them. And it says in the, we're saying, all the people, all the studying and all that I've done, that they can, they'll lay the same between 72 days. Like that's how long it take the hatch, around 72 days. Like in that period, they can come early, they can come late, you never know. They might not ever hatch. I'm just hoping they do, because they've got the red ring, or the red little dot thing. Whatever you want to call it, they've all got it. We all individually candled them and we made sure the embryo's up. 
That's what I've been told by people as well. Keep it up. But yeah. And right now my main priority since I can't, I'm not going to touch them now. I might check them every few weeks, see their progress, not like personally touch them. Maybe you never know if they need help, I'll hopefully know if they need help or anything. So I'm just very excited because I've never had a clutch that's actually fertile. Because she laid an infertile about a month ago. But yeah, I'm just hoping they all come out great. If you guys like the video, I legit just came back from work, let me do that. If you guys like the video, please make sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the video. And I'll talk to you all later. Also, it's like 11 o'clock at night. About 2 to 11. Like, jeez. And I'll see you all later.